Hey guys, would you look at this beautiful sky behind me? Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. And it is windy, so hopefully it's not too bad. But anyways, um, as some of you may know, I recently had a CCTA scan on my heart and I was supposed to have a follow-up appointment on the 13th of November but they called me back today and they want me to come in earlier. So um, I figured I would just do a quick update and it was too much information to do it in a short so that's why I'm doing it like this. Anyways, um, the results came back and they called me and my calcium level is at 101, which is moderate for um, coron coronary artery disease. And if I don't get it taken care of, it could lead to a heart attack or a stroke. And uh, it is, the calcium is located in one valve if I remember or understood what she was saying. Um, so it's, it is causing a blockage and what they want me to do is have a heart catheterization <laughs> and possibly have a stent put in and to clear up the blockage. And so I am waiting for a call back for when my new follow-up appointment will be and then I will find out exactly what's going on and how we're going to proceed but uh, yeah so I'm looking at having this procedure done most likely because I honestly I don't want to have a heart attack ever um, I am going to be put on medication to help with that to um, I think reduce the calcium. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that they said it was to help keep the calcium from breaking off and going into other parts of my body and causing more damage. Um, so, so yeah, that is where I am at as of today. I also had a appointment with my primary care physician today and all things are going, everything's fine relatively. I got blood work done and depending on the results of that will depend on how we go from there as regards to my current medication for my diabetes. Um, we did discuss having uh, potentially get a different medication that will help me lose weight because in the last six months I have put on a significant amount of weight as far as I'm concerned and I feel that some of it is as a result of the current medication that I'm on because some of the side effects on I think two of the diabetic medications are weight gain and I've definitely done that since starting those medications so I will hopefully get on a medication that will help me lose weight as opposed to gain weight. Um, also, shortly after my toe healed, if you know, I had my toe amputated and it got a blister and got infected recently. Um, not the blister, but it was infected recently and I was going to wound care to have it taken care of and it got completely healed. And I started to wear regular shoes and I noticed a little bruise, just a little itty bitty tiny bruise. And of course, what is a bruise? It's blood under the surface of the skin. And so the blood pooled on, um, under the surface of my skin and when it finally peeled, it revealed another hole or wound, I should say. It looks like a hole almost, but it revealed another wound. So yay, I get to go back to wound care. <laughs> I have come to the realization that I will probably have to wear my boot 
for the rest of my life. And if that's the case, then so be it. If I can keep from that wound happening, then so be it. Now, obviously, getting my blood sugar under con complete control will be a huge key component to the healing of the wound. Um, so that is, you know, as I said, we're working on, I'm working on with my doctor. So there, there you go. Um, so that's my new and exciting, not so great <laughs> health update. Um, I'm glad, I am very grateful for my stepdad, John, because he is the one who pushed for me to have my heart looked at. And had he not done that, and had I not gone through the process, I wouldn't know that I am at risk, high risk for a heart attack due to blockage in my heart. So I just want to say thank you uh, to John for, for pushing me in that direction because it could have been much, much worse within the near future. And so I am taking the steps and we will be doing what is necessary and hopefully I will have averted that potential risk and reversed it. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's my quick update. I just wanted to get on here and let you all know. And isn't that a beautiful sunset? I love that. It's so pretty. Anyways, thank you, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.